Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. It's Thursday night, I was going to do a fixture release video, but obviously we've seen the news. And as you can see by the title, Michael Duff leaving to Swansea. This is going to be a non-edited, uncut, straight off the top of my head video about the Barnsley manager leaving for the Welsh club. Obviously, fixtures came out today, I want to speak about them. But Duff's gone, obviously, one year at Barnsley, signed a three-year deal. Um, obviously he came and with every manager nowadays he's got a release clause Swansea obviously they've lost their manager to Southampton they've bought him out and Swansea have obviously paid the release clause or the compensation fee whatever it is to buy Michael Duff out of his contract I've read that it's around 500k which if it is I think that's pretty poor obviously Valim Ismail went to West Brom for 2 million I do believe without in a championship so it is slightly different but from what I've read how true it is I don't know they've paid a 500k Release cost, compensation fee, whatever it is. Managers move on, players move on. Money talks in football, we all know that. Obviously, as a lower club like Barnsley, who doesn't have the biggest funds, like lots of League 1 and League 2 clubs, you can't compete with them teams above them. It's a big food chain, like Southampton lost their manager, sat their manager, to really sat Nathan Jones after getting relegated from Premier League, whichever it was. They went and took Swansea manager. Swansea have come and took our manager and will maybe take someone else's manager or, or take a manager that's um, not got a job. I'll speak about that in a little bit. It's like a food chain. Obviously, players move on, manager move on. Um, all I read is people saying, if you got offered to do the same job, um, no extra effort or more money, you take it. Yeah, 100%. You can't blame people and managers and players for moving on for more money. If I got offered more money for doing the same job as I'm doing, just in a different place, i take it 100%. But the main thing why most Barnsley fans, and me included, are fuming and disappointed and let down by Duff is the comments he made. I know lots of people promise this and promise that in life and let it down, but I would roll the clip, but I'm not editing this because I can't be bothered. I'll be brutally honest with you. Um, when he sat in that dugout, I've seen clips of it on Twitter, um, I'm not here for five minutes, I'm fully invested. Obviously managers say that, but he continued to refer to his time at Cheltenham and his time at Burnley as a player and a backroom youth staff, whatever he was. Um, all he did was talk about them too, that he was um, a loyal, loyal man, he's only been at two clubs for his whole reign his career, which was pretty impressive when he joined off that, I thought, oh, we might keep him for two seasons. I do believe now we're searching for a manager. It's our eighth manager in like five seasons. Last time we had a manager for more than two seasons, we're back in like 2008 or something. I don't know, that might be a bit before. Like I said, I've done no research. It's been a long time since we've had a manager for more than two seasons. But then straight after Wembley, he made the comments, uh, we're ready to dust down and go again. Obviously, a lot of people can say that he's going to just say that while he's on the media and he don't know his offers. Barnsley, from what I've read, did make another offer to try and keep Duff. But the quotes that I've read from Duff is, it's not money orientated. They're going to say that, I get that. It is money orientated. It's the same job for more money. He's going to take it. It's um, it's standard, standard procedure. But it basically said off what Swansea can offer him, like facilities-wise and also financially. So when it comes to buying players and paying for players' wages, he's going to get a better recruitment, basically, because Swansea have more money. They're, in, they're a bigger club, they're in a higher league, and they're going to do, I understand that. But the main, like I said, the main reason Barnsley fans are frustrated is off the quotes that Duff said. Right at the start, he doesn't want to be here for five minutes, and at the end where he says, we'll dust down and we'll go again next season. My opinion is the same as, as our, we were let down by him after what he said. We know managers come and go, but after what he said and the promises made, it just proves you can't trust anyone in football when it comes to money, which is... Sounds simple, but it's frustrating when your manager leaves. Chelt it will have been the same with Cheltenham last year when we took Duff off there, and they will have been frustrated. He might have not made the same comments, and he might have been there a bit longer, which he was, because he had two or three seasons there, because he got promoted. But it is what it is. Um, as a knock-on effect, they've said on the tweet that they're progressively looking for a new manager, and it's already in the running, because we knew, we knew Duff would win for a while. He's been speaking to Swansea for a while. They were waiting for Swansea for their manager, Martin, to go to Southampton, because Southampton were waiting until they were a championship club, so they had to pay less of a compensation fee. And we knew Doug Duff were going. So the board have put out and said that they're actively looking for a new manager already. Hopefully that is true, and we'll see what comes of it. But the main knock-on effect for me is this could affect player signings. It might affect the likes of Harry Eistead. Will he want to come back? Um, now the manager's gone, now it might be a different plan, a different setup. I've heard he's had a few offers from um, Championship Club, they did a whole city one of them. Might even be Swansea now. 
Um, maybe like the likes of keeping Mads Addison, obviously it's very unlikely we'll keep him, but if we kept Duff and we kept the core of the squad and we had better plans, he might have considered staying for another year, you never know. And I've, I've heard he's had rumours from Lewin to go to the Premier League, how true that is, I don't know. But the knock-on effect is massive, him going to Swansea might entice some of our players to sign for Swansea in a league above on more money. It's, it swings and roundabouts, it is what it is. Um, as for managers next year, you've got the likes of Nathan Jones, Darren Moore, Chris Wilder, three managers that I've seen spin around Twitter um, and in a couple of group chats I'm in. Uh, I'd take any three of them, obviously. A lot of people don't want Darren Moore, but I thought for what he did at Chef Wednesday, I know they had a very expensive and good squad, but he got 96 points with them. Regardless, they got third or not, he got 96 points with them. He's had a few rough jobs before. He's done all right with what he's been given, but it's all down to opinionated, so don't slash me in the comments for it. Just give me your opinions. Um, or will it be another, another foreigner like... Uh, Poya or like shop come in no clue for me personally um, this is something off the top of my head but like Carl Robinson people might not agree with this but he's had many many years with Oxford with a very small budget and he, he did well at them and um, obviously he went to Leeds as number two obviously not there with Sam Allardyce anymore um, but someone like that not necessarily him but someone who's had the EFL experience like we got Duff he had the experience with Cheltenham in League 2 and League 1 we need someone like that I'd love to get Wilder, Jones, Darren Moore, big manager like that. But I feel like we won't pay the wages. I don't know. Overall, I am obviously fuming. We've lost our manager who did a great job with a very, I'd say, average squad last year. But it's down to opinions. Not happy. It's let us down. Uh, but it's football and we move on. We'll still be supporting the same team next year. And it's just a stepping stone of Barnes EFC. It's frustrating. But as from a fan's point of view... There's not a lot you can do, and it, and it just is what it is. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on it without being too brutal. Um, I know how deep Barnsley fans can get, and I feel you fully. And also let me know who you want as manager and what you think is realistic. Uh, I just thought I'd put this out to put my opinions. Yes, my opinions are the same as, I'd say, about 80% of the Barnsley, Barnsley fans on social media. But let me know in the comments what you think, and I don't know what my next video will be, but I want to get this out for you guys. So let me know in the comments what you think, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.